The city of Jacksonville now moving ahead with a project aimed at revitalizing Durkeyville. See it there. This morning, Mayor Donna Deegan signed an ordinance approving $200,000 for a study that will help determine how to invest into revitalization and development in the neighborhood. Mayor Deegan says she is keeping her word on making right the unfulfilled promises of consolidation from decades ago. Durkeyville is the neighborhood near Myrtle Avenue and Kings Road just west of I-95. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris was there as the mayor signs the ordinance that launches the Miracle on Myrtle study to help the neighborhood. Let me welcome all of you to Mount Olive Primitive Baptist Church. Pastor Lee Harris has been a leader in the Durkeyville community for decades, witnessing the ups and downs of the historic neighborhood. Today, at his church, Mount Olive Primitive Baptist Church, Jacksonville's Mayor Donna Deegan, surrounded by council members and former Congresswoman Corrine Brown, <laughs> signed an ordinance that will allocate $200,000 for research to revitalize historic Durkeyville. You've been in this community for a very long time. How does today feel as far as progress for the Durkeyville community? I just look forward to a new beginning because the work that was started over 30 years ago has not been completed. To understand Durkeyville today, you have to go back to 1996. This is a copy of the original plan for Durkeyville. Some plans were completed, others not at all. I'm standing inside a playground in the Durkeyville neighborhood. This is a part of a community called the Oaks. It is one community that is part of the fulfilled promise to the Durkeyville community, but there are so many other things that have yet to come. The Durkeyville community need a lot. This is a food desert. Well, pharmacy and prescription is also a prescription desert. It's housing condition. But my personal relationship with this neighborhood goes way back. Before. Ennis Davis will be the project manager uh, for the Miracle on Myrtle really study. Yeah. So what the study is really going to be focused on doing is pulling those resources together. And so while we say there's extra money needed, yes, but there's also extra money out there that in the past has been used in ways that have not benefited the community. The study will take about nine to 10 months and change will become apparent in about a year. But this is a long term project. When Jacksonville consolidated the city and Duval County together, African-American communities were promised money would come to their communities. But in many cases, that never happened. I think that the community needs to know that we are somebody that want to have the best of life as others do. We're, we're somebody. We are a part of this community. And that was Janice Harris reporting for us.